We know you've got opinions. That's what the 401 show is all about. But we're not just here to entertain you. I oh, know. We're here to get you talking about things like relationships, drugs and alcohol. Whether it's on Facebook, Twitter or our YouTube channel, we'll be listening, responding and including what you've got to say in the show. So get in touch. This week, it's a Hollyoaks special. We'll be getting deeper meaningful with these guys. And we've got a special shrine to your best ever comments. Plus, we've got a very important announcement to make. Hello, hi, welcome to the 401 show. We've come to Karina's house. Jimmy, this isn't my house. What do you mean this isn't your house? You've got the same wallpaper. Number one, I do not have this wallpaper. And number two, we're on the set of Hollyoaks. Yes, I know. This is my queen's house. We're on an actual TV set. This is exciting. It is, but we must get our actors' faces on. Yes, I have a very special announcement. We've reached the end of the first series of the 401 show. But no. Don't cry, we're not going anywhere. Do you really think that we would let you escape this? Uh-uh, we're gonna be still no. here posting videos, we're gonna be still on Twitter, still on Facebook, so stay tuned, there'll be more 401 Show episodes soon. And please keep commenting, we are all ears, and heads, and shoulders, and knees, and feet. We also want to say a big thank you for all your comments, but we couldn't mention comments without mentioning our two biggest 401s, Lucy and Kirsty. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember this one time that Lucy commented saying, um, I think that drugs can affect a friendship because they change the way you act. Mm. It's true. Mm, it is really true. Helpful. I remember Kirsty when we asked, what makes good friendship? She said, honesty, someone who will tell you their opinion no matter what. Mm. So to reward you guys for sending in all your comments, we are going to be giving you an exclusive 401 Show goodie bag. That's exciting. There's t-shirts involved. What size are you? What colour do you want? Let us know. Now though, it's time to get cosy for a DMC. That doesn't look comfortable. <laughs> it's not. Hi, my name is Anna Schaffer and I play Ruby Button in Hollyoaks and I am here with the lovely Karina having a cheeky chat in college coffee. That was a great intro. Thank you. Presenting, potentially. Yeah, maybe, you never know, watch this space. <laughs> okay, let's cut to the chase. Yes. So, you play Ruby in Hollyoaks. I do. Ruby is in a bit of a state, Yeah. I say it. Yeah. Um, she's been drinking a lot. Yeah. She tends to drink to deal with peer pressure. She's been Definitely. subject to peer pressure recently. I know, and then she channels all that into bullying. It's just a slippery slope from there, I've got to tell you. Do you think drinking is ever a good idea to fit in? No, definitely not. I think um, when you drink, it just completely heightens your emotions. So if you're feeling nervous, you're just going to become even more nervous and that's only going to have a bad effect on your night and the way you interact with other people. Um, so I think drinking excessively just really is never going to help you out if you're feeling like you need to fit in with your friends or whatever. What is it like pretending to be drunk all the time? It doesn't look <laughs> very glamorous. It's not very pleasant. Um, when we film it here, um, I've had to do quite a few drunk scenes mm -hmm. and I think I've thrown up on the show from drinking about five times, um, which just involves vegetable soup. Nice. Yeah, just puking vegetable soup. What advice would you give to someone who's maybe watching and is drinking to try and fit in? Um, I think I would just say, remember to be comfortable with who you are and what you want to do. And just like with people that are being bullied, I would say, you know, remember that there are other people like you that don't want to drink to fit in. And so you're better off finding them, hanging out, go for a milkshake, you know, go to the cinema. What flavor? Um, ooh. Or a mixture or strawberry, chocolate, vanilla, see where that takes you. So swap the drink for, for a milkshake. milkshake. So everyone knows about your relationship with Jono. Yeah. It was a bit a little bit. A bit of a roller coaster. It was. Um, but everyone's heard about the trials and tribulations mm. of first love. Mm-hmm. What was it like being in that situation, playing a character in that situation? Well, it just completely takes you back. Um, because at the beginning of Ruby and Johnny's relationship, he just he, he likes her, but he doesn't really want any of his friends to know that he's going out with her because she's a bit lame. Mm -hmm. And um, I can definitely relate to like really fancying somebody and they just really don't think you're very cool and you're just so desperately trying to impress them. And that I remember doing all these scenes with Ruby where she's She's done little things like looked up his star sign to see um, if he's a Pisces. Oh, I and used what that to means. do that. Yeah. Have you ever done I that? I totally used to do that. Yeah. And I remember there was this thing, um, 
it was called Love Calculator. I knew you were going to yeah, say that. Yeah, put your names in. Calculate yeah, your, your love. Your and if it was like over 70, you were just like, oh, we're going to get married, or yeah. we're going to have kids. And, and you believe it as well. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so what advice would you give to someone who's in their first proper relationship? Um, to, to make sure you don't, you don't do anything that you're not comfortable doing. Um, I mean, even little things like with the Ruby and Jono stuff that we were doing, he would want to watch his favourite film and she wouldn't be able to watch what she wanted to do and just make sure that it's, you know, relationships are two people working at it together and it's about what you both want to do and it's just important to kind of accommodate somebody else but also make sure that you're comfortable with everything that you're doing as well. Just compromise is the key. Absolutely, mm -hmm. compromise is the key. That's it for the DMC. It was intense. It was really intense, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. If you guys want to continue talking about anything that we've spoken about on this sofa right here, then please do. We are listening on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook, mm. aren't we? Yeah. Bye. See ya. <laughs> Last week, YouTuber Bethan had this question for you. What do you find most attractive in someone else? We had some great comments back from you guys. Why don't we check them out? was a way to salute the best comments from the whole of the series. This week's talking point comes from the vlogger PJ. Hey guys, Kick the PJ here, storytelling connoisseur. I may have coined that title myself. <laughs> I've got a lot of stories of my experiences with being a teen and having relationships, and most of them ending in pain and sorrows. It's kind of sad. But my question for you guys today is, do you think there's pressure on young people to have a boyfriend or a girlfriend? Cool, PJ out. Make sure you let us know what you think. Of course, we're still going to be listening on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, so get in touch. I'm joined now by Laurie, who plays Callum in Hollyoaks. We're in College Coffee. Incredible It's starting set. to warm up a little bit. It looks cosy. It's actually quite cold. It's snowing outside, <laughs> but we're all right. We're powering through. Powering. How are you, man? Good. Yeah? Very good, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Good day? Lovely day, yeah. Been filming outside in the village. It's been snowing, it's been blustery, but it's been wonderful. I've really enjoyed, nice. enjoyed myself. Yeah. Filming's always fun. Yeah. So you play Callum in the soap. I do. He's been through a lot. He has. Um, his mum struggled with alcoholism. Correct, he lost yeah. a lot of his best mates in a car crash. Yep. How do you think he got through those things? Hmm, it's a hard one. I think it's, Callum's the kind of person who doesn't really let it affect him. I mean, not that it doesn't affect him, but I think he's kind of, doesn't maybe show his emotion, but I, I know for a fact that he was probably, he was very, very upset, and I think it probably took him quite a long time to get to grips with mm. what had happened. He's really good friends with George. He is, yeah. Do you think that his friendship with George kind of helped him through those really difficult times? Yeah, I think it probably did. Those two have got a very strong relationship, and I think they probably did confide in one another, and I think probably, that probably helped them both. Mm. Do you think it's important to, I mean, obviously, George has been through a lot in the soap, um, and you said that he doesn't kind of talk about stuff too much. Do you think it is important to try and get things off your chest? I certainly do, yeah. I think sometimes even if it's... Because sometimes when you're bottling something up inside and you just need to... You know, sometimes you do, you do need to just mm. vent sometimes. So, yeah, I think it's, it is very useful to talk to people, most definitely. Yeah. Get it all out. Yeah, certainly. What advice would you give to your younger self? To my younger self? Mm. Don't care what so many people thought at secondary school, I think, would be Such a big, a big one. thing. Such a big thing. I think I'd do exactly the same yeah, thing, actually. Because I remember at secondary school being like, like really caring about what people thought, and that now I just think, why? What was... Should I do that? Yeah, why? Why? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't care. Yeah. But yeah, don't care about what people think of you because they're probably jealous. 
I'd imagine. Yeah, that's what I my think mum that, that's said. often the case, though. Isn't yeah, it? that's Genuinely what my mum is. My mum said that to me. She said, "You don't worry about people knowing because they're probably just jealous." <laughs> I love your impression right. of your mum. That's exactly that's how she sounds. Mum, if you're watching, that's exactly how you sound. Were <laughs> you exposed to peer pressure much at school? You should never do something just because your mates are doing it, because it's just really, it's really daft, because nine times out of ten it's probably really stupid. Do you think it's important to have supportive people around yeah, you can talk certainly. to? Yeah, certainly. And I think people who are not judgmental, which is quite hard to find a lot of the time, but mm. if you have someone who's just, I don't know, shares a common interest, or not, not common interest, but who's kind of on the same wavelength as you maybe mentally and you kind of yeah. just chat about stuff. Yeah. yeah. Very useful. Yeah. Very it's useful. one you can just spill the beans to yeah. and not worry about it. Yeah. Have a little cry too. And then yeah. just pat you on the back and go, don't worry. You've got to do go, it. You've got to do it. Yeah. You need a good cry every now and again. You do, yeah. Thanks so much for chatting to me, Laurie. It's been really fun. That's it for the 401 Show Series 1, but thanks so much for all your comments and participation. We really do appreciate it. But don't go anywhere, because we're certainly not. Of course, how could we let you escape this? Not going to happen. Never. We're going to be posting videos, we're going to be on Twitter, we're going to be on Facebook. There's no getting rid of us. Mm -mm. Hey, what was your um, highlight of the series? Um, I really like Brighton, yes. I like fish and chips, that and I like good. the trampolines as well. I kind of enjoyed getting gunged. Is that you liked weird? the gunge? I did. It, it was, was an experience, but it definitely wasn't a highlight. It was so cold. Do you want some Hollyoaks ham? Um, no, but we can high five. Good work. You too. Right, I want your best acting for this fake drink. Okay. <laughs> Here's mine. Mm. There's some coffee right there. Pretty good.